Aubrey here from Real House Moms, and today I am sharing with you my ham and pineapple cheesy pull-apart bread. Pull-apart breads are going crazy online right now, and the reason is they're amazing. You combine cheese and you combine bread and people are happy. So let's put our toppings together and make a super awesome appetizer that's perfect for any night. What we're gonna do is start with a round uh, bread loaf, and we're gonna add to that some slices of mozzarella, a lot of mozzarella, uh, pineapple chunks. We're gonna chop up some of our Canadian bacon and then we are adding in some thick cut bacon. I happened to have bacon cheeseburgers last night for dinner and had some left and thought, hmm, that'll be pretty good. So we've got super thick cut bacon, but you use whatever you have on hand. Let's get started. What I'm gonna do is finish chopping up my Canadian bacon. I just stacked it up and ran the knife through it. It's pretty super simple. Again, watch your fingers. I just nearly took mine off. If you wanna rewind, you can see my finger almost come off there. And then we're gonna add that back into our dish and grab our bread loaf. You see these all the time at the grocery store over by the French bread. It's just a round of bread. They're pretty amazing, but we are going to cut into it. We're not gonna cut all the way through. We're gonna make sort of a uh, checked pattern. So we're cutting almost down to the bottom, like you would do if you were making a bloomin' onion, like people make those all the time. No, they don't. Okay, and you're gonna turn it 180 degrees, and you're gonna make the same slices going in the other direction but you want to sort of hold it together. It's gonna to make it easier. The knife you use is pretty important too. If you have a serrated knife, it's gonna make it much easier to go through the bread without just smashing the bread loaf to pieces. So keep slicing that. While this is happening, we have the oven starting to preheat for us to 350 degrees. That way, hopefully, the oven is waiting on us and we are not waiting on the oven. I let go, I'm not holding. Okay, so we have that done and as you can see, it sort of makes these little cubes. And then now our mission is to put in as much cheese as possible in there. I just did a thin, sort of thin <laughs> slice of mozzarella. I started with a block of cheese. This is a pound of cheese. I'm gonna try my best to get it all in there because Lots of cheese is pretty amazing, um, but do what you can. This isn't exact. So we are tucking it down into all of those slices we just made, making sure to get all the way out to the edge, deep down. That's our oven. So we've got that going deep, deep, in those and we're going in one direction and then once we have this direction done we're gonna come back in at the other side I like to make these cheesy pull apart breads and then serve them with uh, pizza sauce depending on the toppings that you stick in there but Let's see, make sure I get all the way out to the edge of our bread. We want to end up with just melty, ooey gooey cheese everywhere. So I'm kind of breaking my slices in half and sticking, sticking them down in between now as I go back the other direction. This is not an exact science. So just do whatever is easiest. I've made it where I used shredded cheese as well. I tend to like this a little bit better because I can cram more cheese in, but you do what works for you. Okay, we're getting close. Sometimes I forget the edges down here. So make sure you pop that in. 
and okay so we have lots of cheese I really came close to getting a full pound of cheese in that so I'm pretty proud of that next let's go ahead and work with our Canadian bacon you can find that in the grocery store generally by your pizza toppings or ham mine was near all the pizza toppings near the cheese aisle and lunch meat you want to just spread it out same way you did the cheese making sure to get all the little nooks and crannies in there lots of ham when I lived in Texas I started eating Hawaiian pizzas and there's no Texas has no relevance to the story other than that's how I divide my life where I was living at the time but anyway they eat ranch with their pizza and started me eating ranch and Hawaiian pizza together and now I've taught my kids to eat ranch with their pizza and I'm pretty happy about it okay next we're gonna pop in our pineapple this is 20 ounces of pineapple chunks you can use fresh um, I've got the can in the juice um, I think it's a little bit easier it doesn't it because it's been sitting in the juice it tends to not dry out in the oven and again we're just popping it in to all the nooks and crannies because we want every bite to have everything So we've got our pineapple on there and now I'm jumping over to the bacon. Now last night with our burgers, I got this bacon that was brown sugar and maple bacon and pretty amazing. So that I'm just adding here, but use whatever bacon you have on hand. Oh, we're losing our bread. All right. We are topped with our bacon. Okay, our bread is significantly larger now. <laughs> we are gonna just put a uh, tin foil tent on top of our bread. Scooch it in a little. So a tent, tent just sits on top. It's not gonna be wrapped around really hard. It's just gonna sit on top so that it doesn't burn. We're gonna get it in the oven and we're gonna bake it for around 20 minutes or until that cheese is really bubbly and ooey gooey. And we're gonna take it out and enjoy it. All right, we'll be back in about 20 minutes. All right, let's check on our bread. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. I can barely wait to get it on the plate and try it. Wish me luck. So here is our ham and pineapple cheesy pull apart bread. Let's give it a try. It's gonna be 
the hit at every barbecue you have this summer. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Make sure you're following us on Facebook or YouTube, and uh, that way you don't miss any videos. We'll see you guys soon. Enjoy!